Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a video for you on uh, <laughs> jobs that have the potential to, uh, to lose money. And I just wanted to share with you on how I'm handling a situation that I got myself into and how <laughs> I'm trying not to lose money when I'm doing this job because then why even bother working? But uh, yeah, I thought maybe you like to see a video on what do you do when you're doing a job and you're not making the money that you thought you were? So let's get talking. All right, let's talk about the job. Um, sometime last year, one of my clients or a friend of mine came to me. Uh, she asked me if I would make her t-shirt quilts. Uh, her family member ended up, one of her family members ended up dying and she wanted to commemorate this family member by doing t-shirt quilts for uh, a couple family members that she had. Now, let me just say this. There is times where you just don't know how to price yourself. And I kind of asked a friend of mine on how she priced herself and she says that she charged about $15 to $17 a t-shirt. And, um, <laughs> well, I ended up pricing myself $20 a t-shirt and it came out to 20 shirts per quilt plus $20, so it comes out to like $400. Now where I must stop, <laughs> which that was good. I, uh, that, I priced myself well there. I think what I had an issue is, is like, oh my God, that's like $400 a quilt. That's a lot of money for my said friend. She's a friend and um, people don't understand what piecing entails and people don't understand the cost of fabric or materials they don't have the concept of how much batting is or the thread cost or the service of long arm quilting they really don't because they are brainwashed with walmart prices so a piecer a quilt top maker they kind of have an idea of how much it takes to make a quilt top just in them making a quilt top, they probably invested probably um, to have everything ready, the back fabric, the batting, the piecing. They probably invested already like $300 to make a quilt top or $250 for the quilt top itself if you go to a quilt store. And so they kind of have an idea of what they're getting into when they come to you. But a person who wants a t-shirt quilt and they don't understand when you're telling them you're gonna charge them so much they uh, don't like it yeah they don't like it let me clean you they don't like it and then they don't understand it either they don't understand that you're doing a custom job for them it's custom custom that this is not manufactured through Walmart. And the reason they can reduce prices is because one, Walmart probably doesn't locally have their their items done here. Their, their items are done somewhere where it's not American wages. And another part is their bulk manufacturing. They're making tons of items in one shot of the same item. So it's not custom. And so clients are not gonna understand when you tell them, well, I'm gonna charge you $500 or $600 for the quilt. And so how do you get a client to see the cost? Well, one um, thing that I did is I had a client go with me to a quilt store and find the fabric that she loved and adored so that I could make her a quilt. And we measured out how much material she would need. And I also added the batting, the thread, and everything to it. And she got to see how expensive material was because I want you to understand that makers don't know <clears> hot <throat> uh, fabric is expensive. They don't know that. And so uh, when she went, she kind of also had a, a view of, okay, uh, that's expensive. <laughs> Another thing to share with clients who want you to make a quilt top from nothing, it's that your 
craft or skill has value. The ability for you to piece a t-shirt that someone wore into a quilt is a valuable skill. I want you to know that you as a maker have invested in your talent and I'm not a crafter. People think you're a crafter and so you should give people craft prices. You are a skilled top quilt top maker. Tools, for example, the investment of your sewing machine, your needles, your thread. Uh, people need to understand that there's a value to that. For a person to build their own quilt who has never ever built one, they first need to purchase a $300 sewing machine, purchase the thread, plus purchase the material. And so just as we're going along, the investment for them to even get started already is going into a couple hundred dollars. And not only that, they're coming to you because you have a specific skill that they don't. They could, if they wanted to, they could make their own quilt top, but they know that they don't know how. They, they know they don't have the sewing machine or the thread or the bobbin or even the skill or the ability. And so they're coming to you for your skill and I think you deserve to get paid for it. But I honestly end up screwing myself and doing work for people that I should be charging more. I'm not charging enough. I thought I did a really good price value, but let me share where I messed up. Um, I'm charging her $20 per shirt, but where I messed up is I told her that I would provide for the material. I didn't consider how expensive material is because I use it all the time and I try to find it as cheaply as I can. But in charging her $400, which is $20 a shirt, just in material, I've spent $120 and if you discount that from the $400 <laughs> oh my god Jesus huh Jesus take the wheel it's $280 that I'm charging her for making her the quilt including the loss of material Yes, so it's 280, so if I divide that by 20, I'm charging her $14 a shirt. So I'm kind of cheating myself. And a lot of that comes from, I'm uncomfortable charging an extraordinary amount of price for an item that I'm making. And that's also undervaluing my skill and undervaluing my ability and undervaluing the investment. And so that's where I've made a mistake. One way that I'm trying to save on my losses, it's use the material that I already have. For example, I ended up buying a whole bunch of beautiful red Kona fabric that one was on sale and one was for another job that someone promised me. And so literally I ended up buying at that time 24 yards of fabric and it was on sale. It was Kona red fabric. It was a specific color Kona Red that I needed for the job I had behind back when. And so I have this fabric that's just sitting in my stash of fabric. And instead of me going out and buying more fabric for this job, I told my client, this is the fabric I have. Now, initially my client said, I don't want that fabric. And I told my client, then you need to go buy some yourself because I'm not providing no other fabric other than this fabric and sorry. Of course, when I told the client that that fabric is about eight to $10 a yard, when I told her she needed to buy about 10 yards of it or eight yards, give or take, she did not want to do that. She doesn't want to spend her money. She didn't mind spending mine, but it's okay. Another thing that I'm doing to save myself some coin, it's, you see that pile right there? That's all my scrap batting. That is batting that I have used for other jobs. So I use interfacing to glue the batting together. Once it's quilted, no one knows. So that's another way. I'm using all my scrap batting as much as I possibly can. I mean, you should have seen how I piece that thing. It was, every row I had like three little pieces. They were like this thick and some, some long and some, hey, 
it worked i trimmed it down even and straight i went ahead and used interfacing to put it together and no one when i when i finished that quote no one knew what i did mm -hmm. i i i uh frankenstein that body mm -hmm. frankenstein but it looked beautiful it's lovely yeah so another thing i'm also doing is i'm using a really great uh thread but I'm not using my expensive thread for her quilts. Connections thread, essential thread. And I'm using a thread that I already have in stock. I'm not buying specific threads for her. I'm using what I have. I love this thread, but this little tiny spool of thread is only about $2.99 or three something in comparison to my King Tut that's $28 a spool. Another thing that I'm doing to save myself money on these three quilts that I'm doing, three, yes, I did three, 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 and I said, yes, I'll provide the material for all of them. Why? <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't know. Just, anyway, for these three quilts, um, the other thing that I'm also doing is I didn't use the t-shirt interfacing. The t-shirt interfacing that they provide um, it ends up being like $12 a yard, which is insane. And I use a lightweight interfacing, the same interfacing that I use to glue my batting together, to iron my batting together. I also use a lightweight interfacing to interface the t-shirts. I ended up spending $20 on interfacing for all three shirts, for about 60 shirts. I think I did more. Um, I got the whole bolt, I got 50% off on it, so it came out like a dollar something, a dollar 20 for 20 yards. So I spent like $21, 20 something dollars, I think it was $23 for the whole thing of yardage. And I didn't use all of it, as a matter of fact, I still had a lot of it left over, so I'm using also that to glue my batting. So use lightweight interfacing that is really inexpensive to save money on the materials. I'm praying for the family that lost this family member. I'm praying for the children that are gonna be under this quilt. I'm kind of, I, I don't know. I'm praying for my friend who I'm doing this for. I, but to be honest, I'm not getting paid what I'm putting in. And it's okay. Now I know better. <laughs> and I hate making these. To be honest, I don't like making them. I don't like this kind of work. Bring me your quilt top and I'll quilt it for you. But I think my friend needs this. I don't know. I think she needs this. And I think she needs the prayers that are going to come while I do this. You can lose money from a job, but your attitude about it really matters and your ability to recover because in every business and every field there's always loss but if you see loss as a lesson or as a gain or a potential of growth there is this wonderful ability to kind of thrive despite it